Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ira. A lot of you asked me in the comment section and in the DMs about the dresses that I was wearing in the previous video. So I'm going to answer all of your questions in this video. When traveling, there are a lot of things that I love to do. Obviously seeing new places, exploring the food, meeting new people, but also shopping and trying out the local market, looking at the craft. So since a lot of you have been asking, I thought to come up with this series called my travel shopping haul. So you're going to see a lot of videos on this series. The first one is the Lucknow travel shopping haul. And I'm going to show you the beautiful, intricate, royal chicken work kurtis, which Lucknow is famous for. So the first one is the one I'm wearing right now. This is a beautiful straight cut kurti in Georgette in baby pink color. I got it from the Bhutnath market in Lucknow and this was priced around 800 to 900 rupees. The kurti has intricate shadow work all over the front part of it. I've styled it with a white palazzo and a white dupatta. I'm also wearing these big silver mirror work jhumkas that I bought from the Bhutnath market and some silver bangles. The second one is this gorgeous sky blue of Firozi straight cut kurta with shadow work, chicken work embroidery all over the front part of the kurta. It also has this gota patti work on it. I bought it from Aminabad and because of the gota patti work along with the chicken work, this kurta becomes a little expensive. The kurta and the palazzo together costed around 3000 rupees. I've styled it with this big statement round silver earring and a blue ring in my fingers with some pink lips. The third one is a bright yellow anarkali with chicken work on all the kalis from right on the top to the bottom, both on the front and the back of the kurta. Because of the intricate and heavy chicken work embroidery on this, this costed around 1000 rupees and I bought it from the chalk market in Lucknow, which is a hub for chicken work. Wearing yellow bangles, golden earrings and orange lip. The next one is this beautiful lemon yellow angrakha styled kurta which is in chiffon that is usually more expensive than Georgette kurtas. It has a mehendi green silk thread embroidery on it. I bought it from Chalk Lucknow for around 2000 rupees and I've styled it with a lemon yellow palazzo and some minimalistic gold jewelry. Orange lips and a sleek ponytail. This one is my absolute favorite peachish pink chicken work sari. I got it from Aminabad and this was around 4000 rupees. Since it has a lot of work all throughout the sari, these are pretty expensive. I've styled it with pink silk thread handmade jhumkas and silver bangles. The blouse is not a part of this sari, but a separate net fabric that I procured. So I think it teams up well with this sari. The next are the classics, the must-haves. This is a white chiffon straight cut kurta with heavy chicken work embroidery on the front. You can style it with jeans or you can also wear it with white churidar and dupatta. It looks beautiful straight out of the Mani Ratnam movies. I've styled it with huge silver jhumkas with white pearls, silver bangles and a black bindi and pink lips. By now you must know how much I love my jhumkas. This one is a timeless piece, a stunner. It has heavy, very heavy chicken work embroidery both on the front and the back part. The intricate and finely detailed chicken work makes this off-white kurta a little expensive. It costed me around 3,500 rupees. It has a mandarin neckline with buttons from the top to the bottom. I've styled it with straight cut off-white embroidered palazzo pants, silver chan balis with mirror work and, and a delicate dainty multi-layered pearl bracelet in my hand. The last one is another classic piece, a black chicken work kurti with multi-colored silk thread embroidery on it. It is a common and easily available piece. I got it from the Bhutnath market for around 800 to 900 rupees. The beautiful combination of so many colors contrasting on the black fabric make it look amazing. I've styled it with gold bangles and gold jhumkas. Finally, one bonus tip. Whenever you're buying a chicken work kurta, make sure you buy the slip or the underdress from the same shop where you buy the chicken work kurta from because at times, there are some common shades for which you can get the underslip from anywhere else. But there are some shades which are very rare and it's difficult to find the same shade underslip from. So it's best you get it from the same shop where you buy the kurta from because they usually have the slip in the same shade. Also, make sure you check the length of the underslip because if the slip is a little shorter and like till your knees and if you are buying an anarkali which goes down to your heels, It'll give a very 
awkward look to the dress and overall appeal will reduce. So finally, I hope you liked this video and found it informative. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. Also, do subscribe to my channel if you want to see more such videos. Don't forget to let me know that which was your favorite look and please hit the bell notification icon so that you're notified every time I put out a new video. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.